A News 8 investigation, a Norwich woman is asking when she'll be able to get back into her home now after some simple home repairs turned into thousands of dollars in damage. Chief investigative reporter David Iverson went looking for answers. He joins us now with more on this. David. And the contractor has a license now, but when the deal was signed, he tried to use an expired woman. One, now a woman says the contractor who took the money won't take her call. Our day begins with waiting. Hey, Mike, it's uh, David Iverson over at Channel 8. Uh, we were supposed to have a sit-down interview with home improvement contractor Mike Mish, but we were left stood up. Elizabeth Hall says Mish has done the same to her. He won't take her calls either. Now I'm out of a home because of him. Hall hired Mish in June to fix a roof. She thought it would be a small thing, but then the rain came. The family and contractor squabble about why and where it got in, but somehow, while the job was ongoing, water poured into Hall's house. And it led from a small thing to a bigger thing. Just about every room had to be gutted. It even started a small electrical fire. And this one was sparking fire. Once that happened, contact with Mish started to fade away. He said, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow turned to weeks, and now months later. Oh, my goodness, a lot of tomorrows. <laughs> then months. And it's cost her thousands. Then I gave him 3000 All told, Hall has shelled out $14,000 to the contractor who won't answer her call and never finished the roof job. So again, we tried. Hi, Michael. My name is David Iverson. I'm a reporter with uh, WTNH. And went to the address listed on the contract, an address the person who answered the door said was the wrong Mike Mish. Which Mike? Junior. He doesn't live here. We did talk by phone to a Mish family member who says Hall has it all wrong. The contractor isn't responsible for the damage. At this point, Hall isn't worried about pointing the blame. She just wants one simple thing. I really want my house put back together. Now, the contractor in this case did have insurance. That's just one of the things that you should be looking for before hiring a contractor. On our website, we have eight things you need to know before hiring a home improvement contractor. Questions to ask before you hand over your hard-earned cash. For the News 8 Investigators, David Iverson, News 8.